Hey everyone, welcome back to Say More Guapos Emporium. As you can see, this guy's not very, very handsome. In fact, he is quite ugly, but we don't want to be rude, so we can just call him unattractive. Seeing as how he probably doesn't like that, we should keep it on the down low, or else he might get his ugly friends and sick them on us, which would be no good. Anyway, moving on from the ugly duckling, take a look at the way he walks around like he's high and in charge. A complete fake, phony, and loser, honestly. He's acting like he's better than all of us, and we all know that's not true, because look at his drip. Exactly. He's got no drip. And quite frankly, he needs a complete makeover. He doesn't even have any shoes on, the lazy bum. Walking around with those chompers out, he's gonna step on a nail and really hurt himself. Otherwise, I'm gonna shoot him right in the pinky toe. Those pigs are so dirty, you could practically plant a garden on them. Covered in dirt and whatever this goo is that he's shooting out of the ground. This whole arena is looking like an oil field out here shooting out these pipes, man. I mean, who honestly created this place and figured it would be a good place to fight? The pipelines are all messed up. I'll bet it was Morgot with his dirty ass feet stomping around here like he owns this place, even though he looks like a bum. He's sitting outside the Elden Throne waiting to get in, but the owner already called the cops eight times. Not even the police can get this guy off the property. So that's why I'm here. To eradicate this pest with the swiftness. Is he rolling around this place? We've already established that this whole place is dirty as can be, and yet he's rolling around it covering himself in it even more. My god, this guy's hygiene is terrible. He needs a spa day, but I don't think that will be enough, seeing as how he looks like he just came out of a coal mine. How long has he even been here? It must have been years because he's a malnourished, practically skin and bones. This guy needs some food, but before that, I've got the next best thing. A dose of 99 arrows directly to the sternum. The best meal he deserves is the one that gives him sweet release and the embrace of death. One that will make sure he doesn't return to bother the owner anymore because I have only been here for a couple minutes and I already don't like him and his attitude.